please gloss over this. Just, I'm just gonna say the words so you've heard them. Um, there are atypical Parkinson syndromes. Sometimes they're called Parkinson's plus syndromes, um, depending on who you talk to. These rarely show up in some of the second level board exams, but they're worth talking about. So dementia with Lewy bodies is gonna show up, right? So that's typically viewed as an atypical Parkinson syndrome. You have the symptoms of Parkinsonism, right? Rigidity, tremor, but you also have the, like we talked about, profound visual hallucinations, cognitive symptoms, fluctuating. There's also multiple systems atrophy, which I want you to think about kind of looks like Parkinson's, but has really early severe autonomic failure. They have horrible orthostatic hypotension, urinary symptoms, bowel symptoms, tons of falls because their, orthos their orthostasis is so profound. It's all you should think about with it. There's tons about it, but you'll see that on step two and level two, just as an answer choice. Progressive supranuclear palsy uh, is limitations in eye movements along with some of the other Parkinson's stuff. And then the one that you're gonna see the least is corticobasal syndrome, sometimes referred to as corticobasal degeneration. They sort of have more arm stuff, but the one that I think is interesting is they have alien limb phenomenon. So they'll often say that their arms do things that they don't want them to do, or their legs do things that they don't want them to do, sort of that someone else is controlling their limbs. But that one I don't expect you to see, but it's, it's on the list. You will see dementia with Lewy bodies on test. You might see MSA and PSP on test. You probably won't see CBS on test. I can answer more questions about them, but recognizing it's very niche.